You want to switch up your highlights, right? But you don't want to spend the money on it or maybe you don't have the time to go into a salon. I'm going to show you a really easy and affordable way to tone your own highlights from home and get you from here to here all by yourself. Let's go. This is my hair in the before shot. I have a grown out balayage and I really, really like it. I like the depth and the easy maintenance of having my natural color, but I also like having some dimension through it. I find when my hair is just one solid color, it's just too flat for me. So my highlights usually sit at about a level eight and I keep them quite warm with a gold based color. Now it is fall in Canada and when it is fall, I like to add depth to my highlights. I don't want them as dark as my roots because I still want a multi-tonal dimension, but I don't want them to be blonde. This is how we're gonna do that from home. This is how you're gonna do it from home with minimal steps and no damage. We are gonna use a direct deposit color, which is a toning gloss. I found this one at Shoppers Drug Mart and it is by the company Clairol. It's called the color Gloss Up and I picked the color Warm Caramel Brownie because because warm colors look awesome with warm based skin tones like mine. I did an entire video on skin tone and hair color and you can find a link to it in the pinned comment below in case you're wondering what your next color should be. What a direct deposit color or a color gloss is, is it's a stain that sits on the cuticle layer or the outermost part of the hair shaft and it stains the layer in a really nice, rich and conditioning way. It does not need a developer because it does not need to go into the hair shaft. Therefore, there is no need to mix it with anything. So who will a color gloss work for? It's going to work for anyone who wants to tone their hair to a different tone at the same level or anyone who wants to go a couple of shades darker. So if you're a blonde, for example, and you wanna ash out your hair, which means basically remove the yellow pigment, you can use this. In fact, I did a whole video and demo about that in this video. If you have an ashy highlight and you want it to look more chocolatey or warmer, you can use this too. Or if you have a dark blonde highlight and you want to take it deeper and more caramel toned, you can use this. And that's what we're going to be doing today. What this will not do is make your hair lighter. It cannot and does not lighten hair. And this will not offer any gray coverage or gray blending whatsoever. If you put a gloss on hair that's darker than the color on the box, it will not do anything at all and you're going to see that in my hair. Now that we figured out how it works, let's do our application. What this box has to do is wash the hair and apply it on clean and wet hair. You can absolutely do that and I've done that before and it does work. You can even do this in the shower after shampooing your hair and that's just like a super easy way to apply it. But hairdressers love breaking rules, you guys. We break all the rules. So I chose to do it on my dry hair and the reason I chose to do it on my dry hair is because when you tone dry hair, it tends to come out a little bit richer and a little bit darker, which is exactly what I wanted. As you can see, I only have highlights on the top sections of my hair and not on the bottom. So it's wasteful to apply it to the bottom sections of my hair because it really will not do anything. It won't touch that darker hair. So I just applied it where my highlights started. You want to move section by section. This is important for an even end result. Make sure to fully saturate the strand and use more than you think you need. Look at this section, for example. Do you see how this particular section is a little bit dry? If I left it like this, I would end up with a splotchy and uneven end result. Now, depending on your desired pigment amount, you can leave it anywhere from two to 15 minutes. And I chose to leave it on for 15 minutes because I really wanted it quite pigmented. When the time is over and it's time to rinse, if you're doing this on pre-washed wet hair, you just have to rinse it and then style your hair. You don't have to shampoo. But since my hair isn't clean, I did a shampoo and then I conditioned. 
And this is the end result. It's rich, soft, super hydrated. And the best part is that depending on a few factors like your individual porosity and your lifestyle, it can last about 10 washes. So you can try it, get some at home variety in your color without any commitment and without any damage. If you found this video helpful, check out these other box dye videos next. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.